I'm Mandy Bell. And I'm Sarah Langs. We're reporters for MLB.com and our new podcast, Fielding Questions, will explain why baseball players are so superstitious, what separates the best ballparks from the rest, and all those other things you always wanted to know about baseball. You know, the greatest sport in the world. You can subscribe now on Apple, Spotify, Odyssey, or wherever you get your podcasts. of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity and goodwill shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness. For he is truly his brother's keeper and finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Ladies and gentlemen, the Church of Laszlo has begun. Yo! Yo! How are you? Never better. How are you? I'm great. Glad to hear it. All right. Everything going good? My name's Laszlo. It's Slim Fast. Snow Cone's in the other room. And it's the Church of Laszlo. Like we say, just belly up to the bar wherever you are. Uh, we'll talk about our lives, your lives, what's going on in the world. You can interact with us uh, by texting 913-586-7965. 913-586-7965. Or you can just go to laszlo.church and then, you know, go to any of our social media or our Reddit page or, you know, buy a coffee mug, whatever you want to do. Yeah. We, uh, we appreciate it. Bookmark yeah. it or whatever. We're, I told Snoke what we need to seem hip. And, you know, like we're a, a real show is we need to get a QR code. So we're making oh, a QR yeah. code. But I don't know where the QR code should go. So just go to Lazo.church. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, doesn't that sound good, though? I feel like once you that have the QR good. code, we've got that list up there. It looks good. But if we had a QR code, of course, yeah. if we had one that didn't work, it would be really fitting. If they just clicked on it... <laughs> It's in it. Well, I'm That'd sure on brand. I'll have to go What's through that? That'd be very on brand. It really, really would. But I'm excited about that. How's life? You're in dad mode right now? I am. How are the boys? Good. School, Good. Is, school is going all right? Yeah, they seem to be fine. Do you check grades the way you check ratings here? The way that we look at ratings and go, do you do that with um, grades? Yeah. Like, is it just when they get a grade card? Do they get, what were they called, progress reports? You can check up on them constantly now. Oh, you can yeah, like, go you online? Know, right. You can just go online and see what... what uh, <laughs> Man. How they did on like their or what they're missing, what they didn't do, all those things you can see. Oh, like if you if they missed a project or oh, it says yeah. like they didn't take this test. Oh my god, could you imagine if they had that when we were kids? Every single grade I was in, every single class I was in, I was failing until the very end. You know, at the, the last moment, I do the uh-huh. absolute minimum required. Right. Get that one makeup. Can sure. I get 50% if I do that project that I never did? Okay, and then I'd get a D or maybe yeah. if I was lucky, a C minus. So that I could pass. And, of course, my grade card was bad enough. My parents were not happy with it. But if they had seen what was going on on a daily or weekly basis, it would have completely God. changed my life. Oh, my God. Remember when, when they made you get the grade card signed? Yeah, you'd have to, to do show that. I mean, imagine doing that every day. Well, I remember right. I was in sixth grade and I had a really bad one, and I did not want to show my parents. I mean, it was that kind of thing where I wasn't eating. I was that sick with yeah. the anxiety. And so I would come to school and like, did you get it signed? I'm like, oh, I forgot. And I kept doing that. Yeah, and then that. on the third day, they dragged me up to the principal's office and called my mom at home and said, hey, Reed needs to tell you about his grade card. You know, we don't think he's seen it yet. She's like, yeah, no, he hasn't shown it to me. She's mm-hmm. like, yeah, well, you need to see it. He's got She's it. Like, I can oh, see it. I just God. pulled up my oldest. He has an A, a B, an A, a C. We're going to have to discuss that. An A, an A, and an A. Is the C in a subject that he, that he uh, doesn't like? Math. Oh, dude, math! Come he on, we're it. still doing that. Yeah, man, that's a good grade card. Though. It's a really good dude. I really never had good. a grade card. He needs like to that. get that C to a B. Oh yeah, he can okay. do that. He needs to get that C to a B. So wait, if he has A's like that, and then he has a one, the C in math. No, well, like, get that C to a B. You're not like I'm not pissed, yeah. but okay. I'm like get the C to a B. Put him a little sure. okay. work. You're close, man. My parents, I, I genuinely think if I had a C, not a C minus, but a C. That was like, all right, you know, I get, that's about as good as we can get. Yeah, that's cause you. for celebration. Yeah, the D was like, what are you doing? Because I, you pass, mm-hmm. but they were upset about it. You can do better than this. And it, it is frustrating when you have like, like a group of friends when you're young, and it feels like they're living the same life you are and doing the same things and playing the same amount of PlayStation, and then they get good grades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't think I'm smart. They're getting honor roll stickers. I know he struggles with math, so I'm not going to get 
I'm not going to be too pissed, but you got to get through it. What kind? Do you know what math he's in now? In ninth geometry. Grade? Okay. All right. So yeah, Algebra that's what I had. Algebra slash geometry or yep, something. That's what so, I had. So. I mean, I can look at it. So he did. Know. He did pretty good. He did better it than a lot of kids like on his he... uh, testing. No. Well, well yeah, his yeah. testing's fine. Yeah, because like there is something below like geometry. We yeah. called it transition math. I think that's if you failed the test, mm. then you got into transition, and then well, geometry his, was kind yeah. of the flat. And then if you were really smart, I think in ninth grade they give you what algebra one. You could start algebra, which phew, I took it. I took that uh, sophomore, junior, and senior year. Same class, same teacher every time. It's integrated algebra. integrated algebra. Integrated geometry. Algebra. I heard that they're doing that. Math has changed now. That they're teaching some new form of math. No idea. Not, Can't help him. Know? Okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, it looks like he got a, a D on his test. That's the problem. He's Man. probably like, "Why are you?" T- because right. <laughs> right. everything else is like A, A, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, and then a test, a D, and then that brings them to a C. Yeah, we talked about how we didn't do it when we were young. Right. Imagine if your dad was talking right. on the radio. He's on the radio, he's like, yeah. Well, but that's a good grade card. If right. my dad was talking about it, you know, I don't think he would share it, first of all. He was like, yeah, I don't know. I can't find the damn thing. And they just locked me out. And his buddies at work were like, no, Don, come on. We'll show you how to do it. He's like, no, 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 it's fine, because he does know. He's like, oh, it's all Ds. I should talk to the kids. <laughs> My parents never, and I mean, I was grateful for this, but I don't know if it's the right thing to do. They never checked my homework. And I, I know, like, they couldn't do my math homework, but you know what I mean? Parents will say, show me your homework and show right. me that it's finished. And a lot of times, depending on what grade you're in, they might give you some sort of schedule that says, hey, this is everything that you have to do tonight so that your parents can see if they want to. Sure. The only thing my mom did was say, did you do your math? Your, did you do your homework? And I'd say, I don't have any. I don't have any. She got real tired of that. So then I started saying, like, yeah, I'll go do it. And I wouldn't. I'd go upstairs. And I wouldn't do it. And then it'd be like, yeah, it's done. She, but she never looked at it. The only thing she made me do that she could watch was practice piano. She's like, practice your piano. Oh, right. You got to do it. Half hour every single day. There's no, no days off. But the homework stuff she didn't look at, even when the grades were bad, which I was grateful because I really thought when I showed her bad grades that eventually she's going to be like, all right, I'm going to have to start looking at your homework. We're going to send you to a tutor, right. all that stuff, which she did sort of bring up the tutor thing. What's that? Company My parents called? gave it a shot. Sylvan. Sylvan, yeah. I she talked there. about that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I was like, oh, come on. If I go to that place, there's a stigma to it. At least there was when I was of a course. kid. Of course. For sure. They were like, oh, you're too dumb to do math. And then also, I would have to actually do the math. Which but I then you have extra school, do. too. Exactly. It's more school than another building. Like, it's not because I don't understand. It's because I don't want to do it. Yep. So right. just sending me to go do extra stuff is right. just stuff. I'm. You're going to pay for Sylvan for me to go there and not do it. I'm exactly. not doing it. Well, exactly. I think my dad was finally like, that's it. Like, you just, you're not doing it. I'm certainly like, not learning not, it. Yeah. You're not doing it. There's nothing we can do. I just, I went to summer school instead. Did you ever do that? I failed it. Oh, see, I finally passed. It was summer school after my senior year. And I finally, I hated this math teacher that they gave me junior uh, uh, or sophomore, junior, and senior year. They gave me the same teacher. I couldn't pass algebra two. I kept failing right. it. So then I finally went to summer school, and it was my uh, it was one of the football coaches that was teaching right. it, and I got through it I, because I think he was probably mm-hmm. a little less strict and helping me out. Like, oh, okay, that's man. what they told me too. They were like, "Just come to summer school, and you're going to pass." Exactly. And then I just skipped it. Yeah, it's <laughs> I like, skipped <laughs> summer school. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do any. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not involved. It sucked. It, I mean, I'm not doing it. So I then they were like, do it in the fall. So my dad was like, "You failed summer school," and I was like, "Yep." <laughs> and then he was like, all right, well, whatever. I don't know. I guess you just have to go there until they say you can't. I don't know what else to do. Is that when you said you can't fire me, I quit? Like, was it around that time you just said I'm done with this? Uh, no, I failed summer school in the ninth grade. Oh, okay. I couldn't drive out in the ninth grade. So then I just wandered the halls until 12th grade with like a .8 grade point average. Like, what are you just? So you skipped classes a lot? Like My school? mom went to school, and the drama teacher said he hasn't been here in 42 days. Whoa! Damn! Drama, yeah. drama they thought fun, I was gone. He thought I'd class. moved. The, the drama teacher thought I moved. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, well, I remember. School. He was also the tennis coach. He's like, he doesn't go here anymore. My mom's like, no, he does. <laughs> He's like, well, he's been gone for 40 days. That's amazing. Where did you go? You left the campus? Yeah, go smoke cigarettes, hang okay, out, so, drive around. So sometimes you, know, you did just hang go out to at the, the bar. School. Was there like a group of kids that were just cutting oh, class? A couple buddies would just get up all the time and go to the bar. Okay. Go to the bar. Go you the got bar. into the bar. You I had, had a fake, fake ID. ID. So yeah, we'd leave. That was sixth great. hour. Lead at fifth hour. Go, you know, have a couple drinks. But the bar was clearly being lenient with these fake IDs. I'm guessing like, hey, he showed me something. I they had to bad. know. You're ni- your ninth grade. You couldn't have looked 21. I mean, I don't I didn't know you, but. But you're showing up at two o'clock in the afternoon, five days a week. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and they're like, well, this That's guy true. certainly isn't in school. <laughs> right. He's 
I don't know what he does, but he's 21, clearly. <laughs> and then you found a way. You navigate through life. You get in the Navy. You go to war. They drop you off in Florida. You're like, I, I try this radio thing, and you get popped around. And well, now I'll look no, at you. It's 2 o'clock There's in the a lot afternoon. of other stuff that goes into that. There but is. Yeah. I mean, that's a very condensed version. But you, it, you landed here. Here I 2 am. 2 o'clock uh-huh. in the afternoon. <laughs> at the bar. At the bar. <laughs> the Church of Laszlo. I'm Mandy Bell. And I'm Sarah Langs. We're reporters for MLB.com and our new podcast, Fielding Questions, will explain why baseball players are so superstitious, what separates the best ballparks from the rest, and all those other things you always wanted to know about baseball. You know, the greatest sport in the world. You can subscribe now on Apple, Spotify, Odyssey, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Mandy Bell. And I'm Sarah Langs. We're reporters for MLB.com and our new podcast, Fielding Questions, will explain why baseball players are so superstitious, what separates the best ballparks from the rest, and all those other things you always wanted to know about baseball. You know, the greatest sport in the world. You can subscribe now on Apple, Spotify, Odyssey, or wherever you get your podcasts. Forget front row seats. We're taking you into the action on the field and in the dugout with season two of Play Loud. Follow some of the league's biggest stars as we mic them up and get the cameras rolling during some of the hottest matchups of the season. Catch real-time reactions from Juan Soto and Francisco Lindor in the field and catch all the hilarious conversations between players off the field with unprecedented access. Watch episodes of Play Loud at youtube.com MLB. Play Loud brings you baseball like you've never seen before. Never seen before.